court is calling. Meghan's devastating final words to staffs as steel proof to bully scandal. Insiders reveal the moment Meghan Markle and Prince Harry said an emotional goodbye to staff members who had become like family before they made their final appearance as official royals. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry had to make an emotional farewell to their most trusted members of staff before the couple attended their final royal engagement in March 2020. As they prepared for the Commonwealth Day service at Westminster Abbey, the couple spent their last morning as working members of the royal family. Although they arrived at the televised event looking happy and sitting alongside the Queen, Prince Charles, Camilla and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, just moments before Meghan said a tearful goodbye to staff. Hugging those she had worked closely with throughout her time at the royal family, Meghan simply said, I can't believe this as the tears began to flow. Royal journalist turned authors Omid Scobie and Carolyn Duran revealed in their biography Finding Freedom, what happened on the couple's last day as official royals. They write, Harry quietly slipped through the door of the 1844 room to say hello, and the reality, and the emotions, finally set in. Meghan turned around to hug goodbye the last remaining people in the room, including an author of this book. With the state room almost empty except for a few familiar faces, the tears the Duchess has been holding back were free to flow. She embraced some of the dedicated team members whose tireless efforts, to promote the couple's work, launch landmark projects, and deal with the near-daily crisis brought on by the tabloids, had come to an abrupt end. I can't believe this, she said, hugging one of the young female aides she had become close with. Though Team Sussex was a much smaller operation than the more sophisticated offices at Clarence House and Kensington Palace, in the short space of a year since setting up, they had become like family. Meghan changed into the iconic green outfit she had selected for the historical event, and joked with staff that she was weaning her last hat for a while. The couple's emotions were even more heightened when they found out that they were left out of the royal procession due to a last-minute change, and wouldn't walk into the abbey with the Queen. According to the book, the couple was not consulted and were very disappointed by the decision. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are returning to Britain for the Platinum Jubilee celebrations to prevent a total separation of powers with the royals, an expert has claimed. Royal commentator Camilla Tomini said the Duke and Duchess of Sussex want to keep up their royal ties. She claimed it would represent a total separation of powers if the couple, who are living in California after quitting royal duties, did not attend. The associate editor said, they want to keep up their royal ties. It's obviously helpful for them to still be in contact with the Queen and for the public to know that, not just in the UK but also in America. We don't know for instance what role Netflix had in filming them making that visit to Windsor Castle some weeks ago. If they didn't come however, it would really represent that kind of total separation of powers and they don't really want that. Neither side does because the Queen has always insisted that they remain much loved members of the family regardless of what may have been said or done on Oprah or elsewhere. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's Netflix content has come under fire as a royal author has branded the couple's only greenlit offering for the platform as old news. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex signed their partnership deal with Netflix in autumn 2020. The deal is speculated to be worth around $100 million, £72 million, and is one of a number of commercial opportunities pursued by Meghan, 40, and Prince Harry, 37 after stepping away from the royal spotlight. The Invictus Games, launched by Prince Harry, took place last month in the Netherlands and Meghan and Harry attended the first few days of the sporting event. Attended the first 